Well, hello and welcome back to Dark Souls. I know, the first thing on your mind, who is this crazy person in front of me? This isn't the same character I saw in the last episode, and you are quite right to think that. I've had a bit of a cleaning up in my inventory and a sorting out of my items. Now, I'll quickly go over what we've got. We've got, well, most things have been upgraded fully. The Silver Sh Night Shield hasn't yet. But we've got the Embraced Armor of Favor and the Leggings of Favor. Those are Lutrex items. The reason why I've gone for these is that if I just bring up my equipment load there. We've up to now been playing without fast drop. Which is the weight bracket between 25% and 50% of your maximum equipment load. And all this time, we've been trying to keep our items as light as possible. We're, no, we're not rolling any slower th than we used to be, as you'll notice. I can move around just as freely. There's a much faster version than that, um, called Fast Roll, which some people have been advising me to try and get to. But one of the reasons why I've decided, instead of going for Fast Roll, to, to just put on heavier armor, is for... Let's see, if there's a sharp poise there. 31. Previously I had a poise of 0, which meant that anything that hit me would stagger me. Uh, it would break an attack if I was in the middle of it or whatever, so I always have to be the first one to hit, because if I was just a fraction of a second too late in my swing, my entire attack would be blown open. This allows me to follow through even if I've been hit. And 31 is quite significant because I believe that means that all one-handed swords, even when two-handed, when wielded with both hands, I can take one hit from them without being staggered. Following hits, unless I've had a bit of time to recover, will still go through. And I believe all katanas are... Um, I can take one hit from them as well. So, on the whole, a good trade-off. I'm a little bit more defensible now, and just as fast as I used to be. Now, someone else has also pointed out in comments that you can cut this guy's tail off. I'm not sure if that would cause him to be aggro, I would imagine so. And I don't really fancy the fight. And anyway, I kind of, you know, he hasn't been bugging me. He's been keeping this bonfire nice and warm for me, so I'm, I'm kind of indebted to the dude. The other thing that I need to discuss, actually, before I go anywhere, is my level. I've had to increase my level by one to put one point into, in endurance in order to rise my maximum equipment load from 66 to 67.2. Without that, I couldn't fast roll. Uh, sorry, I couldn't um, roll at the same speed I've been doing already with the Night Shield equipped. This Silver Night Shield has got a staggeringly high resistance compared to uh, the Press Shield or the Blood Shield. I'll show you now. If you look at the stability, that's 58. At level 5. The crash shield is 66 at level 5, and this is 74 at level 5. Now, the resistance, or rather the stability of a shield, influence how much stamina is used up when you block with it, and I also believe that it ha plays some part in whether a person will be staggered by hitting a shield while it's blocking. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of the mechanics behind that, though. Now, I did try to record an episode before this one. Unfortunately, the footage was quite uh, choppy. So I've had to discard that whilst I've been sorting out my problems with this. It's all sorted now, so this should be coming through pretty nice. But I do know a little bit of what I'm going to be doing in this episode. So uh, fair warning. There's only about an episode's worth, in fact, probably a little bit less than that, of what I know. So... We're not going to be... Oh, well, have I let you out? I have. Oh, I'm stupid. Let's just smack you with this. And then with this. Yeah. There we go. I do know where we're going to be going. There are a few things that I managed to find down here that I'm going to be going back and getting. Thankfully, the Durante fix, which allows PCs to, to use higher resolutions. Also comes with a nifty backup feature. So I've been able to 
resort to an earlier save. Oh, ah. Okay, you're annoying. I say no. Right. In this place, there are a few things that I want to pick up. Uh, I think there's only one thing, actually, that I can remember. Hello, dudes. Oh, but this didn't kill either of you. And I don't want to play with that guy. Absolutely not, mushroom dude. I do not appreciate your enormous mushroom punches. These guys have got so much health. Each one of those fireballs was doing like 600 damage. And each one of these is doing almost 500. They're pretty easy to dodge if you're given freedom to, to move around. But wow, if they can actually corner you, they're going to hurt so bad. And they're actually pretty hard to take out. Oh, balls. That didn't happen last time. I wasn't aware that it could. You trolley game. Right, better go back and get my humanity. I did, do have a fair bit of humanity. Uh, I did a bit of grinding in the depths while I was trying to uh, sort out all my recording woes. And uh, just before starting to record, I went and helped Plump with a little bit of a problem he had. Apparently one of his uh, recordings got lost so he quickly leveled up his alternate character to the same sort of level so that he could uh, go through the NPC cutscene a pretty important one apparently so uh, I just had to quickly help him with the Anna Londo boss again oh I wonder where my souls are going to be they'll probably be on that ledge just behind the basilisk I imagine Sorry, Skull Clam. Not interested today. There are no doubt dozens of things that I've missed in the Great Hollow. I am not going to put a lot of effort into getting those back on screen. Uh, read also, I'm not going to try. Uh, unless I happen to be back. Ooh, tricky. Unless I happen to be back there for some other reason. I'm not going to. Uh, try to run around, find the shinies, that sort of thing. Where's my souls? Come hither, souls. And humanity. More the humanity than souls. Balls. Why are they all the way down there? That's just annoying. Mine. Ah, right. I am actually thinking about leveling up as well, and we're probably going to do that in this episode. I didn't do that in the last one. Oh, shit. Almost the same thing again. Because um, I didn't have the souls, quite simply. But I've been thinking that... Oh, yeah, you are actually there. Never mind. I wanted to show you guys what I'm aiming for out here. But I'll show you from the inside. Basically... I worked out that there was a way in. There's like a, a tunnel inside, and you'll see it from the inside now, that leads to that shiny in there. Uh, this is risky. Let me go. Cool. Okay. Right. From the inside, you can just sort of see this t little tunnel here. From over there, you can see this tunnel exit. And this is the only way that I've found to get this. Miracle. Great magic barrier. Let's have a read of what that does. No, I don't want to use it. Right. Miracle of the Bishop Havel the Rock. Cover the body in a powerful defensive magic coating. Havel the Rock, an old bat battlefield compatriot of Lord Gwyn, was the sworn enemy of Seath the Scaleless. He despised magic and made certain to devise means of counteraction. So basically a miracle version of something which already exists in sorcery form, I guess. I haven't met the sorcery counterpart, but uh, I imagine it's there. Right, onwards, back to the bonfire. Then we're going to go and clean up one more thing to do in the depths. Because in the uh, other video, 
I actually tried to climb back out of the Great Hollow. In fact, I succeeded in climbing out of the Great Hollow, and I did pick up one or two more Titanite chunks on the way. But it was a lot of effort, and it took almost the entire episode to do. On my way out, I decided to explore a little bit more of the depths, and I met an old friend. Wow, perhaps friend is, the, is too strong a word. Uh, an old acquaintance. But... I intend to go back and talk to him. Actually, I may have used up something that I'm going to need to give him. Ah, damn it. I'm almost certain that I have. Uh, let's quickly check. I need three moss. No, <laughs> I did use one of them up. Oh, poo. Alright, well, we'll pick up that shiny there then. We will come back to uh, our old friend who happens to be Sigmund. For he is in a pinch yet again. In fact, I might do that this episode. And then we'll have everything more or less caught up to where I was. It probably won't take me nearly as much time to go to the uh, Moss Merchant in just uh, Lower Blight Town. No, not Lower Blight Town. Lower Undead Burg. And then come back to Blight Town as it would to... Uh, as it did in the last episode when I was walking up to the tree anyway. So we'll probably still have a little bit of time at the end of this episode to do something new. Hurrah! Alright, let's get down here. I'm fairly sure I've picked up everything now that's down in the Ash Lake. The only place that I haven't been thorough is the tree. So, let's go ahead and... Where can we go? Is there not one in Undead Berg? Oh, okay. Actually, no. Let's go to Pilot Shrine. I must remember there's a few things I need to do here, but first we're going to go sort out Sigmund. Right. To the Moss Woman. Let none stand in our way. Another thing I've uh, learnt since the last episode I recorded is that when I've been seeing multiples of spells, like each merchant typically only sells one of each spell, but if you go to different merchants, you might be able to pick up the same spell twice. And it hasn't graded out, and I've discovered that there's a reason for that. The only way to equip two of the same spell is to have bought it twice. And then you can... It, think of the spells not as knowledge, but as scrolls. And, and previously, I have just been thinking of them as knowledge. I've assumed that once you read the, the spell, you kind of knew it. But apparently that's not the case. Each of the attunement slots and each of the spell scrolls are unique. So if I, if I simply uh, bought two Fire Orb, for example, maybe in a second playthrough or something like that, then I could equip two Fire Orbs in my slots. I'm not sure, though, whether that would mean that Fire Orb would just show up with 12 uses, or whether there'd be two separate scrolls that have uh, six uses each. I don't think... However I left you, I really don't think you were dry. Not here. I am indeed. Oh, you knew I was coming. I don't even mind your weird, strange laugh that you've got. You're kind of sweet. I'm going to stock up on this, though. Probably not necessary, given where I'm going. But... Now we'll drop five of those. Anything else I want? I don't think so. I could buy humanity. I don't need any. Oh, we're going to leave. Come again, if you please. <laughs> oh, I almost certainly will. Charge! That's the way we came. I am starting to feel the hurt, though, of having that um, favour ring on. Mostly because I really don't want to take it off. Not because, uh, you know, it'll break, but because it's really, really useful. It's a fantastically good ring. Oh, of course. Haha. The thing with that is that 
even if even if they um, said, well, you can't, uh, you can take it off. I would really be hesitant to take it off at any point, simply because of how much it affects my character build, how many positive things it gives me. But whilst in the de in the Black Town, I have really felt the pain of not being able to equip my poison bite ring and my rust ring. Did I just try to warp to the same place? <laughs> I did, I think. Oh, silly me. Right. Back to the Daughter of Chaos. I'm going to try and avoid combat. If I don't have to go through it, I will avoid it. Um, and let's stick the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's stick the rest of the dying ring on. Hello, my lady. Hello, dude. Oh, hello. Hello. What is it that you need? Uh, just talk, really. Have you heard of Lost Quellana? An yes, actually. A witch who wanders the poison swamp. I hope no one in you, has man. ever seen her. So who really knows? But what if she is another of the Quellana I... sisters? She's Our quite fair beautiful, lady would be greatly comforted by her presence. Oh. Oh, is that something I can arrange? That'd be pretty cool. Oh, I thought that was an enemy dropping down then. You crazy ghost. Now, I've got an idea where I want to go next. Once I'm done uh, going and talking with Sigmund. And that location would be the Darkroot Gardens. It's the area just beyond the Type Knight Demon that I've, uh, in well, we encountered really early on with uh, just past Andre the Blacksmith. There are lots of things down there. Thankfully, Plump visited that area very, very early in his playthrough. As such, although I know of the area, very few of the details yet remain in my memory. Not because he doesn't make memorable videos, but because I've got a terrible memory. Right. Also, that place is a bit samey, so it's very easy to get turned around there. Which is probably going to be a benefit, honestly, for this Let's Play. Because it does mean I'm not going to be going there with any real advantage. Right. And thus begins... The constant need to let my poison go down. Okay, I don't think I've angered that guy. And as before, I'm totally going to be avoiding any sort of confrontation with Laurentius. I imagine he's still quite happy over there with his fly friends. Totally not a hollow. Absolutely and completely happy. Uh, let's wait. Actually, I did buy quite a lot more, so let me just quickly equip that, because I certainly don't need all these things equipped. Oh, it's already equipped. Yay. Let's set that on there just for shits and giggles. Um, just in case there's anything else I would actually want to take with me. No, well, I don't think there is. Um, so I'll just bring that along. And I'll just use them up at some point, so they're not in my inventory. Do not want. Actually, we'll bind to this bonfire, for the sake of ease. There. I really don't want to play, honestly. But I need to get rid of these guys just so I can use this area as a safe place. Right. Let's go. Whilst we've got lowered poison. Oh, you're gonna be poisoned again? No! Haha! -ha. 
No. There you go. Can't take this. Oh, I completely understand in this area. Come on. Now. I'm not entirely certain the best path to go, because I came at it from out the tree. Oh no, there he is. Hey, that's actually kind of excellent. I may as well kill these things while I'm here. They do have a chance to drop some interesting stuff. So I think I can stand up over here as well without being poisoned. Oh, okay, maybe not. Hey. Hello. Oh yeah, you were sleeping. I forgot. Actually tempted to stab him. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Oh ho! Oh ho! Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. You see, Into I'm dreamland. actually in a bit of a fix. I've made it this far, but I'm short on antidote moss for the trip back. Oh no! Um, by my knighthood, I'm ashamed to ask. But can you spare a few scraps of moss? I wonder what he'd actually say if I said that. I'm going to check. Well, no. Well, mm, actually, it might require me going back to the bonfire to reset him if I say no. So no, I'll, I'll just give Fantastic. him moss. Fantastic. Thank you. A saint you are. This yes. knight of Katarina expresses his deepest gratitude. I shall not forget this. Please, take this. A symbol of my appreciation. Well, Thank you very much. our fates do seem entwined, don't they? Perhaps they do. too is the will of Lord Gwyn. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> oh, it's a shiny. I didn't notice that last time. Do you have anything more to say, Sigmund? The poison swamp. Like quicksand in there. I mm. know. Ah, yes. That was all you actually said, wasn't it? Never mind. Let's go grab that shiny. I'm quite surprised at myself for not spotting that last time. There are a lot of you, aren't there? Watch that nut shard. Balls. Wow, I'm going to die if I'm not careful. Wow, I really wasn't taking any care of my health at all. If I had died there, it would have been entirely my own fault. Wow, that's a lot of dead shards. What else is around here, if anything? Nothing much, it looks like. Cool. This is what happens when Ava gets frustrated that he's already been way too long on this episode i fully intended to just be oh yeah i'll just be five minutes i'll quickly do everything i already know and then i'll be off to do new things but no i have to die in a tree and then i have to forget that i've used up my moss without replenishing it <sighs> right what have we here or server actually given that it's a weapon it's probably server not server a curved great sword used in a mysterious ancient rite imbued with a frightful occult energy which restores HP with each hit that's fantastic I wonder if that can be used in the left hand because if uh, uh, no no Things generally put in the left hand parry instead of attack, unless you use this strong attack. I don't. Yeah, actually, I do have one strength. 
No, I don't have enough strength. Wow. That's been a long time. Very well. Oh, there's another shiny here as well. Right, let's go grab this, and then we are out of here. Another large site match out. Right, let's gobble that up. And have I got any homeward bones? Because I would totally use one right now. <laughs> Damn it! I used them up. I think I used the last one getting back from Domino. Or did I? I can't remember if I uh, jumped back that time or whether I cheesed it again like I did the first time. At least the first time that I got to that area, I cheesed it. I seem to recall finding a ring there. I think it might have been a ring of sacrifice. But since I'm already poisoned, I may as well just run back. Then use the teleporter and hurriedly go and see if there's anything new for me to do. Almost there. And there we go. Right, that's pretty much everything sorted. Now, in the last episode, or the one that I wasn't able to save, I talked with Andre, and then I defeated the Titanite Demon, I seem to recall, and that's more or less where I ended it. So I think that's where I'll end it this time as well. As long as this Titanite Demon doesn't mercilessly murder me. In which case I'll be too frustrated. And then I will just end this episode. Wherever it is. Damn the time. Well, hello again. Hello, Andre. You seem to be doing alright. I'm, I'm Need not Need anything bad. forged? I'm just coming to chat. Zen's Fortress is an old proving ground that's built by the ancient gods. It is the only well. route... To the I wonder if the ancient gods are world different world. to the gods that currently live there. Of course, there. most fools can't even find their way into that fortified death trap. That's a good question. I, this game is sometimes really, really shy on uh, <laughs> law. Very shy on law. Right, let's have a quick look. Is there anything I want to purchase? Probably not. Oh, actually. I know little of the Dark Road, although I've heard rumors of a divine blacksmith who resides there. That's cool, Those but I didn't mean to talk. in the catacombs, seek him for divine weapons. I've already sorted out the catacombs, so we are good. There is this, the Crest of Artorias. Now, from what I understand, this will open a door in the Dark Road Garden. So, let's go ahead and buy it whilst we've got the uh, funds. And then there's really nothing else. Uh, perhaps I could get some more arrows. Yeah, let's grab a bunch of arrows, shall we? Right, I... Okay, I'll try not to, Andre. Right, before we go on, there's one more thing I want to do. The, this is a lot of souls, and I don't want to just throw it away, so... I'm tempted to continue pumping my decks. Either that or my endurance. One or the other. Endurance is good because it increases my equipment load. And my stamina. Which dexterity does quite do quite a lot of good for my weapon. And I have been planning on taking that to 40. So we'll continue with that plan. Whenever, whenever and wherever I have their souls, I'll drop by to uh, top that off. But now, I'm afraid that it's time to deal with you. In the last fight, I cheesed him by hiding here and shooting him a lot. This fight, I'm going to try and be brave for once. Okay, that won't work. Right, I've got to try and get in close. Can't see what I'm doing. Not good. Come on, you. Fools. Ha-ha! Now, am I going to be able to make you bleed? I believe I... Wow. I believe I was making him bleed. It's kind of impressive, considering he's a... Uh, 
Oh, look, what well, looked like just a statue. How much of this demon titan have I got? I've got two pieces. I think that's all I need to upgrade my uh, Chaos Blade another level. I actually didn't even think of that last time. Happy days. Well, hello again. Hello. You seem to be doing all right. Need anything for? Yeah, actually, much better. Uh, reinforced weapon. We would like to reinforce the Chaos Blade to a Chaos Blade plus three. Let's have a look at that. That is pretty nice. Very nice indeed. So, yeah. The next level will take it, wow, all the way to 201 physical. That's pretty beefy. And still only two Oi, demon titan knight Where are you off to? Ah, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, Andre. I wasn't raised in a barn, I assure you. I'm just quite distracted. I have an important mission. Weakness, pyromancy. Oh, that's pretty useful to know. Not how I beat him. Weakness, stabbing in the back. I did it. Well done. In fact, I am actually going to add that. Weakness, close combat. Or something to that ilk. Uh, let's see. Where are you? Use item, write a message. Right, techniques. Um, that's actually pretty cool. I've not really looked at that. It's quite a lot. Right, weakness, close range battle. I'm sure that is terrible advice. And I kind of hope that someone dies repeatedly because of it. No, there is no sun, you liar. Why do you lie all the time? Though there are trees. Where did the sun go? I'm fairly sure that Dark Souls doesn't have a day-night cycle, so you just move into a certain zone and it'll become night or twilight. And then you'll move into another zone and it'll become day again. Like if I go back to the parish right now, it's going to be bright, bright sunlight. Here. Um, okay, I don't know what's here, but uh, okay. Some trees. Those glowing flowers are pretty cool, though. I remember those from Plum's Let's Play. But before I get sucked in to exploring this place, it is probably time for me to wrap it off. And if it isn't, well, I'm going to wrap it off here anyway, because we have now caught up to the footage that I lost. Oh, honestly, words cannot betray how frustrated I was that that footage was useless. Or how relieved I was when uh, Plump reminded me that they were backup saves. Because I was not too happy about the idea of having to explain the progress that I'd made and the things I'd found without being able to show you. So at least the crisis has been mostly averted. In the next episode, we are going to actually start exploring the Darkroot Garden, an area we haven't yet been in this Let's Play. Hurrah for progress. I hope you will join me. I hope you've enjoyed this one, even though it's been a bit rushed. I do apologize. Uh, yeah, after three days of struggling to get things working correctly, and then that, it was like, yeah, my God. My rage meter is on like 4,000%. I've suppressed it with ample amounts of tea. But trust me, it's really high. I'm, I'm at breaking point. Hopefully, the next episode will do a lot to chill me out. So, I will see you there, I trust. But until then, do take care.